And then there was Frasier. Viacom's CBS on Wednesday announced its beefed-up streaming service Paramount Plus, highlighting a dizzying mix of existing content, new shows and revivals of long-owned properties such as the Seattle set sitcom, in the latest bid by a media company to win streaming dollars. This is a big day, a new day, a new beginning, said Viacom CBS chairman Sherry Redstone, speaking from a virtual presentation on the Paramount lot in Los Angeles. The company is betting that renaming and supercharging CBS All Access, its existing service, with a vast supply of new content will help it compete with Disney's Hulu, Comcast's Peacock, Warner Media's HBO Max and, to a lesser extent, Netflix and Disney+. When it launches March 4, executives said, Paramount Plus will cost $4. 99 per month for an ad-centric basic tier and $9.99 for a premium version, less than Hulu, Netflix, Disney Plus or HBO Max, and roughly in line with Peacock, though the latter offers a limited but free option. Unlike HBO Max, however, which automatically included HBO subscribers in its expanded service, Showtime subscribers will not be upgraded. But all access subscribers will be shifted over to the new service. The move completes a process that began when Viacom and CBS reunited in 2019 and now ensures every major media company has a robust streaming offering. This is not your father's Viacom. And it's not my father's, either, Redstone said, referring to the late longtime Viacom mogul Sumner Redstone. Paramount Plus will offer 36 new original shows in 2021, part of a backbone of 30,000 total hours of television derived from CBS, MTV, Showtime, BET and other subsidiary networks. It will also make about 2, 500 existing movies, well above competitors like HBO Max, which has 1, 300, available on the service. Among the films in its deep catalog are The Godfather, Titanic, Sunset Boulevard, Pulp Fiction, Grease, Top Gun, and Love Story. At least some of those films will be getting new tie-in shows on Paramount+, Plus, as the firm looks to lean on established names to attract new customers. The Godfather will get a docuseries. Love Story will see a young adult romantic drama. Grease merits a prequel. And other cinematic hits of decades past such as Flashdance, The Parallax View, and Fatal Attraction will also receive their own original series. New shows from Tyler Perry, The Daily Show, host Trevor Noah and a prequel to the cable hit Yellowstone are also in the offing, along with All Access's existing mix of news and sports, including the NFL. Paramount Plus will also take a page from HBO Max's book and attempt a reunion, this time of the first season of its groundbreaking, The Real World.